What's up everyone? What is up chickies? It's Baron. Today we're going to be doing a video on sort of just medical ships and what we may see in the future. I don't think that, you know, we we have enough medical ships, but at the same time, if you have a look at the amount of combat ships as compared to medical ships, they're vastly outnumbered and we only have like a few dedicated medical ships like the Apollo and then you've got the Galaxy with its module you've got the Endeavour Hope class as well as you can see set up there now there are only few ships now I think I've got them all the 600 I rework is going to have a tier 2 bed from what we know now we know for a fact as well but we don't really know as much that all medical vessels are supposed to be all dedicated tier 1s and you'll have module beds like tier 2s and tier 3s but they say that, you know, we they don't know if we're going to have tier 1s in something like the Javelin, the Kraken, or the Idris. And for those who say the Kraken doesn't have a medical bed, there was an update on that, that it's now going to have a medical bay in that ship. Um, if you haven't joined our Discord, join our Discord. That is in the description with all our affiliate links and discount links. We also got um, a link to the light that I've gotten for my camera. So if you have a setup, I can get some links for those. But uh, we have an org as well. But to get into it, the 890 Jump we know has a tier 2. The Carrick has a tier 2 bed. Now, whether or not these change in the future, I wouldn't feel like they would change. Because, you know, being an exploration ship, the Carrick may have that need for the tier 2 bed. Being able to do up to, well, anything but fatalities or anything that's fatal pretty much. And then the 890 Jump, I would say, would do the same thing. Being able to service to clients that you may have on board if you are doing a transport mission. Or if you are generally transporting people around just different systems and different planets and whatnot as we know that's a high luxury sort of transporter super yacht space thingy uh, with the javelin now there are modular rooms in that but again that has a dedicated med bay whether or not this is going to have tier ones i would expect it to have tier ones being that the size it is and being you know it's just going to be a massive massive handle to like look after pretty much and whether or not that's going to have tier ones like i said i don't know along with the idris and the kraken i would expect them to have tier ones but they could just push it off into a tier 2 direction. But again, being that like, you know, you would see a station and the station is a major object and a major sort of point to come to. A javelin is going to be that in battle. I think it's going to be that major point that you would come to. Unless you have an endeavor in the background, the javelin is going to be that ship that you'll go to for support. Anything medical, armory, anything that you will really need um, in terms of supporting your um, ground, like ground... Um, combat combatants whatever you want to call it and the reason i say this is because this can't go into atmosphere it can't go anywhere near atmosphere without getting sucked into it and possibly crashing uh, we know that in law with previous javelins they've gone too close to orbit and they've gotten sucked in so you know it would leave for a reason to have a kraken as well if you were to go into orbit with that and go land that thing can land along with the idris as well now these two i wouldn't expect to have a tier one but to have a tier two along with the merchantman and the polaris as well being a tier two um the reason i say this is because these are considered to be capitals but they aren't sort of um I wouldn't expect them to have a tier one now the polaris is supposed to be that ship that you can go anywhere anytime and you don't have to sort of come in contact with any stations you can go out and um, exploration and expeditions at a long period of time and not have to really go near any civilizations as that was the description of the ship now whether or not we are going to go any more medical ships in the future um something like around the polo series and the galaxy i know that you know we may not need that many but and i would see an option for another alien sort of medical vessel and i keep going back to aliens because we don't have a lot of variety and um sort of service for that and saying that i would expect a medical vessel or some sort of a mess medical inclusion in a crusader ship being the you know the manufacturer that they are but again they are primarily i i read they're humanitarians so again um whether i don't think they really primarily would go to a combat ship being that you know they like to save human life and be humanitarian company i guess that's what i read in some of the comments correct me if i'm wrong but again going on through the medical gameplay it just doesn't feel like there's enough ships there with that medical sort of gameplay now we know like the medivax the apollo series has those drone beds again um that is probably one of the only ships that's going to have that advantage the explorer the 600i 
I just feel like there's a massive gap between some of these ships being that, you know, these aren't going to be dedicated medical ships and you're going to have the Endeavour, which is years away. We're supposed to get the Galaxy with Pyro, but again, I don't know if that's going to be a thing. Um, the Apollos that was being worked on, they did have it on the tracker, but they have removed it. So whether or not the future holds some more medical vessels or something straight to flyable, I don't see this changing anytime soon, which kind of sucks. And it really does bother me a little bit. I really want this... Um, to be looked into because we know that medical is going to be a serious role for people and that's going to be their committed role there's nothing else that they're really going to do it's going to be something that they are committed to they're dedicated to so that when you have a fleet go out or you have some ground ops going on they want to be there to come in scoop people up if they have a tier one to tier three injury they can come up to the ship and then they can be um, revived or they can have a bit of medical aid put to them. And I think this is a really good thing because it seems like the medical gameplay in Star Citizen is going to be so advanced that it's going to require training. And you're going to know, we need to know what the drugs do, how much you're going to need to um, dose to someone. And again, a lot of these drugs can OD people. And again, it's just something that I think a system needs to be put in place, but there's also needs to be um, an official, and a lot of people have done unofficial systems for the drugs, but there needs to be an official sort of um, construction of um, like a guide. And I know they're bringing a new player's guide, so hopefully there's something included in that. But again, back to the ships. The Polaris, um, being that, you know, it's an expedition, it's also a capital, I would expect capitals to have a tier one bed. But again, I would see uh, tier ones being excluded and primarily only for dedicated medical vessels since you know that is their complete role but then some people might not have that ship and if they have the a Polaris they may want to be able to have someone land in their hangar and then take them straight to the medical bay and that's where again the galaxy can can come in so I would also see the, something like the Polaris having a tier 2 bed because they've already got the galaxy which has a dedicated hospital module if you can see where I'm going with this, that's good. But again, the Carrick Expedition does have modules. So whether or not you'll be able to put something like a mini hospital in the bottom there with tier one beds or tier two beds, I don't know. But being that now we have the Pisces that is also a medical vessel, which I forgot to put in here. Um, I think that could also open up a new avenue for a module for the Carrick since that ship is literally designed to go with the Carrick. So it makes that sort of opportunity for gameplay and the modules to have some more of um, an open um, slate, if you were to put it to that. Whether or not these would come to fruition, I have no idea, but it's just something to put into the thought pattern. See what people think of it. Let me know down in the comments because I'm very interested to see what people think. I know. The way I think about these things can be quite intrusive and like quite complicated. To me, it sort of makes sense and I try to get it out of my mouth, but how people receive it is very different. So let me know down in the comments what you all think of this. I'm very interested to see what you all have to say about this. But if you enjoyed this, let me know down in the comments. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what else you want to see and we'll see you in the verse. Bye-bye.